Hey girl and welcome to uh, another video. Today we are going to talk all about the constipation and endometriosis. This is actually requested topic and requested video. So what you're gonna know from this video? Is the constipation uh, connected with endometriosis? Why is that happen? When is that happen? What is normal constipation, not normal constipation? And how can you help uh, yourself a little bit? Constipation can be caused by many factors. Uh, for example, the hormonal imbalance, the scar tissue and the inflammation. Hormonal imbalance, it can be easily fixed. If you didn't watch it yet, please go to my YouTube channel and check a five day workshop of how to regulate your hormones naturally. Inflammation can be also easily reversed. Go to my YouTube channel and check the playlist uh, things to avoid and just start implementing them one by one or grab my uh, online course biohacking endometriosis that is just for 39 pounds of tissue. This is the very uh, heavy one because it's not much you can do about it. Scar tissues and adhesions that are formed sometimes even around the intestines. I was diagnosed with endometriosis 4 and that means it was all around my intestines making digesting very difficult and basically all my intestines was glued together and if you have adhesions uh, all over your intestines that obviously interfere with the normal movement that can cause the extra bloating and the constipation. It can be a lack of fiber in your diet. If we don't heal our gut, the fiber make us bloated. So we tend to avoid it completely without the realizing that we actually need the uh, fiber for our bowel movements to work properly. Lack of physical activities and dehydration. Constipation can be also normal. And how do you recognize do you have normal constipation or you have abnormal constipation? Basically, abnormal constipation stays with you all the time. It doesn't matter, period before period, you still have it every single day and that's actually red flag. Uh, normal constipation, you have it just before your period and it's absolutely natural because uh, before your period or during your period, your uh, hormonal level change. So the hormonal level actually drops and that leads to the intestines muscles to slow down. Metabolism is slower and your intestines movement are also slower, which can lead to the before period constipation that we all know so well. I hope this, this video was helpful. Please subscribe, share it and invite everyone to join this community because my goal for this year is to help as many girls as possible to heal naturally without breaking your budget. So stay tuned because the good things are coming. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week.